What's going on, everyone? Merry Christmas. I am filming this before Christmas, but this is going to go up on Christmas. And no, it's not story time necessarily, but it is discussion time. As most of you know that follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Die Hard is my favorite Christmas movie. And I have really kind of gotten sucked into the entire Die Hard franchise. And I was talking to... Well, I had an idea this morning of the day that I'm filming this. And I asked a couple of my cop buddy friends uh, and my brother, retired law enforcement, um, if John McClane had a knife, what knife would he carry? This is going to get some controversy here. I am sure. I am sure, but I want... So this is a participation video. I need you to leave your comments below as to what knife you think John McClane would carry in general and specifically what would he be carrying to the Christmas party at Nakatomi Plaza. So, and by the way, a quick thank you to Gil over at Wild About Sporting Goods. This was last year's Christmas present that he sent me. And it's a, it's a very cool book. You know, it's just fun. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's the little things that I get excited about. So, the first comment from my brother was, I don't think he's a knife guy. But then again, my brother didn't think he was a knife guy until he became a knife guy. Something like that, right? And a lot of people don't, if they don't know me, or if they know me, they don't necessarily think I'm a knife guy either until they figure out on Facebook and YouTube and all of that, that, that I'm kind of a knife guy. So my brother thinks that he is going to carry a, a Benchmade of some sort or a spider co, because... He's not really a knife guy. All right, those are good good examples. And would would he carry an automatic? So bench made automatic. Would he carry a 940 maybe? As his daily, you know, kind of off-duty carry. So we're talking about off-duty, right? We're not talking about what he's wearing while he's working necessarily. Or is he going to carry the the very stereotypical police model. Still an awesome knife that I absolutely love. Um, that kind of got me started in knife collecting. Which you can see on my very first video, if you go scroll back or look, I'll put a link to my first video down below. Because, well, it's an embarrassing video because the quality sucks and the audio sucks and everything else about it sucks. It was my first and I'm going to leave it forever. So there you go. Um. Just a cool knife, super utilitarian, but I don't think that's what he would carry to the Christmas party myself. But I want to know what you guys think. Or would he carry an assisted opening, like a SOG or any other assisted type opening? Now, there's a couple of parameters to this question, I think, because my other cop friend, Joseph, Hands down said the Kone Garius would be absolutely what he would carry because it's all the knife you need. It does exactly what's needed and it's a little fancy. And I'm like, yeah, is, isn't that too fancy for John McClane? He goes, no, dude, he carries a Beretta. He got nice leather works, holsters and things like that. So he's into the finer things a little bit. I don't know, but the problem is the areas didn't exist during Die Hard. Hadn't been made yet. So I'm going to open it up. You can tell me what you think he would carry today or during the time period, right? And I think that's a good point that Joseph made. And Joseph came up with a second knife that he thinks John McClane would absolutely carry. And I tend to agree. And unfortunately... I don't have one here to film, 
but it is the Hinderer XM18. Now, I owned an XM24, and I've done a couple of videos on it, and I'll put a link to them down below. Um, and they're wonderful, fantastic knives. And I think that that would be a great knife for John McClane to have used or had at his disposal during the takeover of the Nakatomi Plaza. So let me know what you think. Now, what I know that what I'm pretty sure he would not be carrying is he would not be carrying a full custom knife. I don't think John McClane would carry a um, Frederick Knives custom Damascus bladed titanium and zirconium, uh, not titanium, zirconium. You know, I don't think that he would be carrying a custom knife. Okay. Nor do I think he would be carrying, you know, just a more plain custom knife like this Shirogorov Ryu. I know it wasn't really available back then, but I don't know that he would be into a custom knife. I think he would be into a production knife. Realistically, probably, in my opinion, a Benchmade of some sort, probably not these two Benchmades, but maybe a Griptilian, maybe a Super Freak or the Mini Freak, maybe. Um, something a little less dressy. This one's kind of a dressy knife. It's classic, but I, I think he would want something a little more utilitarian, maybe a little bit broader blade, something like that. But I don't know. Let's talk about that. What else might he have? I mean, the reason why I think he has some sophistication a little bit and might go with the areas through the XM23 or XM20, XM18 eh, or XM24. Um, yes, he carries a Beretta, which is probably a duty issued weapon. Um, he's got a nice leather shoulder holster that he had. Uh, he has a Zippo, which is a little higher end than just your Bic lighter. So, you know. I don't know that he's going to want the bottom of the basement uh, cheap, you know. I don't, I don't know that he's going to go with the Kubi $40, you know, budget knife. I don't see that as his thing. I think he likes things that are a little more upscale, you know. If he had a Bic lighter, yeah, then maybe I would have thought he'd go with the budget knives. But I think, he, I think he's going to be in that one to two, three hundred dollar range knife for me personally is what I think he would carry. But you guys tell me. So I, don't, I think the Arius is out for sure. Even if it was available in the time, I don't think he would carry one. Maybe it just goes with the police model, but I think the XM18 is a really good choice of something that he might have carried. But I don't know. I would love to hear your thoughts. So let me know. And uh, if you think he had a flashlight or a pen or something like that, yeah, throw that in the comments too. I mean, it'd be interesting to see what you think he might have had. Uh, maybe he just had a, a normal Leatherman. Maybe he carried a Leatherman. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. It was just something that popped in my head this morning. Uh, it's close to Christmas, and I was thinking of what kind of a video to do at Christmas time. And so I came up with the Die Hard thing. Um, and I was talking to my girlfriend last night about it, and she had kind of also mentioned something along the lines of, of you know, Die Hard and how, how could I pull in Die Hard into it? So it's what I did. Thanks, guys. I greatly appreciate it. And please let me know down below what you think, because I think this will be really fun. And, um, you know, maybe we'll pick a different character later and do a different video on what they would carry in a movie. So I appreciate it. Have a Merry Christmas. Uh, I hope you guys have a lot of fun with family and friends and eat a lot and get all of the wonderful blessings that the world has. And we just take a moment to really enjoy the specialness of the day and just being with family and friends. So thanks a lot, everyone. Have a fantastic Christmas day.